welcome back everybody we have decided to take an impromptu uh, visit out to Hart Bay today um, we woke up this morning I haven't been well and we just decided hey you know what it's time to get out and get some fresh air so we've headed out here to the beautiful uh, Hart Bay today we're gonna take a walk around show you a little bit of home enjoy of the week here is a deeper look at what's great Cape Town area has to offer where to eat and make merry so um, here we are we've got Miss Lindy over here who's busy checking up on Google what uh, <laughs> <laughs> what Hart Bay originally became famous for um, but as we knew it's a little fishing town um, I think Google told us now that it's the biggest fishing harbour community in the Western Cape um, so as you can see here behind us uh, we've got all the boats and things like that and if I do a quick turnaround uh, up behind me over here and I can't see so well with the camera but um, that's known as Chapman's Peak um, and Chapman's Peak Drive is a beautiful uh, spot where you can take a drive along we'll see if it's open today but it's uh, very well known for rock falls so we don't actually know if it's going to be open for the day but um, the other thing that Hart Bay is really well known for is their fish and chips which we're definitely going to get some say again <laughs> we're definitely going to get we some we are definitely uh, going to go and get some fish and chips all huh? this way and not good yeah so we actually thought that they were a uh, closed little place called Marina's Wharf um, but we did get here and realised that they are open we thought that um, the lockdown situation in South Africa had uh, caused them to go bankrupt but clearly not anyway we're going to take a walk along uh, the boardwalk and we'll see you later. So some of the touristy things that uh, you can come and do out in Hart Bay um, There's the boat going out uh, behind us, I think he's behind this boat now um, You can go and see the Cape Fur Seal Colony uh, What's it, probably about a 30 minute uh, boat ride out to the colony and there's some 10,000 odd seals uh, that are on the little island and obviously with the island uh, and the seals that we commonly refer to as Seal Island you get all the great white sharks um, but it's been a bit of a contentious issue, eh? Ah, oh, there goes the boat behind us. Um, been a bit of a contentious issue with the sharks uh, over the last two or three years, um, with them having dwindled in numbers. Uh, a couple of different reasons why, um, but what uh, we have been seeing is orcas, so killer whales that have been coming into the bay uh, to feast on the great white sharks, uh, which is quite cool. But anyway, um, you can come and do your seal watching here you can do your great white um, shark cage diving and then obviously go on little boat cruises and all that type of thing but absolutely beautiful um, when we left home this morning it was overcast it was miserable you can see on top of the clouds up there um, the clouds are hanging low but as soon as you come over the peak from Cape Town side it's an absolutely beautiful day and I didn't bring my hat so I'm gonna burn out today anyway such is life and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell you the worst thing that I'm going to do is I didn't want them to get the food that we have to have a rock cut no load shedding, no paroma, no cooking no paroma, no cooking so that was just the locals that have trained uh, these wild seals and used them to generate a source of income uh, by feeding them fish and basically training them. Um, they are completely wild, they're not hand reared, but um, it's still an interesting sight to see. And every now and then, if you're uh, the lucky suspect, 
you're the one that then has to pay uh, the trainer or the guard um, your little two pins uh, for the show that he puts on so it's quite entertaining to see these seals here sometimes uh, those are certainly not the biggest ones that I've seen here but we'll see if we can find the others Driving along Chapman's Peak, which uh, is part of the mountain trail that I showed you early on, um, there's a fort up in here from the late 1700s. Here it is, we're going to go have a bit of explore. Um, driven past you many times, but never actually stopped to have a look. Chapman's Peak Drive, for those that don't know, is one of the best driving roads I want to say in the world, because you know, that's me. But absolutely beautiful road. We're going to take you guys along there just now. But in the meantime, we're going to explore here. Mm. So it's actually quite sad that um, we are unable to get some awesome drone footage here. The buildings here are just incredible, ranging anything from the early 1900s and as time has progressed and the different soldiers for the different reasons have come through they've built it up a little bit by little bit um, and now at the moment it's a it's part of the Table Mountain um, National Park but it's just incredible to see these structures and to think they've been around for whatever it is 200 years or whatever the case is and um, most part they've survived except for the timber but um how's this for views like just check out these mountains imagine waking up every morning to those mountains behind you and then swinging around and checking out the bay like <laughs> including my <laughs> almost to like what you call the top of Chapman's Peak um, there behind me there you'll see let me just get my bearings right there is Hart Bay where we've just come from uh, I told you guys about Seal Island earlier that's out this way here um, but the views are just amazing um, excuse my head being in the picture but that's just the way to check it out isn't that just absolutely Gorgeous. Oh, that's my wife. But also the views are incredible.
And we are home safely and that is a wrap from us. Thank you for joining us on another epic uh, adventure in our own mother city. It's always great knowing that we live in such a beautiful place where we're able to go out on these adventures and go and see new things and sometimes be a tourist in your own city. Until next time, make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Ciao.